Day 5. High School Reflections. What would you change about your high school career? To do a sport. Definitely to do more ho like homework to bring up my grades. I would, freshman year, have started playing lacrosse because I've always wanted to play lacrosse. Um, but I'm just starting up this year, and I probably would have joined more clubs earlier in the, my career. Cool. Um, probably to join more clubs. I should have done that from the beginning. <laughs> um, I'd probably take a few extra minutes to study because it um, doesn't take a lot of time, but it helps a lot. Uh, if I could change one thing about my high school career, I'd probably be getting involved in student government or uh, National Honor Society or something. Those guys are always doing really cool events. Um, I would probably try to get my community service done earlier or start it earlier. I would definitely um, not slack, slack off freshman year. What do you know now that you wish you knew in high school? Well, I wish I uh, knew that algebra really does help you in life. I was not good at math, and like a lot of kids, I said, well, I'm never going to use this when I get older. And now I'm finding that I'm doing things that I'm really require some math, and I'm having to learn it on my own. There's a great story that I've heard uh, that's a good example of this, I think. Um, it's about a little girl in the 1930s who was a real problem in school, always fidgeting around, really disruptive in class. And um, her teacher finally had enough. And so she said to her mother, uh, look, I've had it. You've got to take this girl to a doctor. She's got real problems. So takes the girl to the doctor, and the doctor's talking to the girl and the mom. Finally, the doctor says to the, to the girl, you know, I'm going to talk to your mom outside in private for a minute, and we're just going to step outside. Um, just sit here for a minute. We'll be right back. So on his way out of the office, um, he just flicks on the radio, and then he leaves the door open a crack. And he says to her mother, just take a look inside. And she was already up out of her chair, dancing to the music. And he said to her, ma'am, your daughter's not sick. She's a dancer. Take her to a dance school. And she did, and it transformed her life. She ended up becoming one of the most celebrated choreographers in history and became a multimillionaire with all kinds of credits on Broadway plays and things like that. So the point of that, actually there are many points to that story, but one of them is that we all have something unique to bring to the table, even if we're told in school that we're flunkies or whatever. But everybody's got something unique to bring to bear. You just have to dig deep and find what it is. I wish I knew going into college that it's okay to try something and fail. It's not going to be the end of your life. Think about how you can influence beyond your own context again. Think about how you can change the world to a better world. I think there are many people, and I'll be one that never thought of myself that could do that. Someone else was going to change the world. I was not going to change the world. Uh, and I wish I was 18 a year again with the experience that I have today, because then my passion and my eager to change the world would be very different than it is today. Because it is guys like you that's going to change the world. And don't expect someone else to change the world, but go in with a passion to do that. I think it's important for high school kids to know that there's a big world out there outside of Eastland Meadow. And what people think of you in high school may not be an accurate assessment of who you really are and what you become. Um, and that the little things in life are probably the big things in the end. That if you do work right the first time, people aren't going to badger you to do it again. You know, it gives me a lot of confidence that high school students are even asking that question because I wasn't asking that question when I was your age. Uh, so it, it shows that today's students are probably smarter than when I was a student uh, because I think the fact that you're reflecting over that uh, is, is very encouraging. Uh, I think there are way too many people that are chasing the number, they're chasing wealth, that gold diggers. Uh, and that can be very inspirational to be probably also when you're 16, 17, 18, 19 years of age. You want to prove to the world that you can make a lot of money. Uh, or maybe actually prove to yourself because in all honesty the rest of the world don't care. Um, so I would say that is probably the first realization to come to that that's the wrong ambition. And therefore I go back to passion as I talked about before. Uh, follow your skills, follow your passion. If you follow your skills and you follow your passion, then by definition you'll make money because then you'll be very good at what you do. I think the biggest thing is that the more connections and the more relationships that you make the better. So to get involved in as much as possible through clubs, sports, activities and the more relationships that you make and the more connections that you make uh, the further it can take you. 
Um, I would probably do my homework much more often and study more. Um, I got decent grades, but I could have been an A student. I was a B student in high school. What I feel I'm doing here is having a little bit of an impact uh, on society outside my job, uh, and that's what excites me a lot.